these days, as we all know, AI has become the central theme in almost every tech discussion. Just as we once said that every company needs to become a software company, then move to cloud. Now AI has become the critical central talking point. You can't have a discussion without it. Can you talk about what Loft is doing in the AI and GPU infrastructure space and how you're supporting these workloads in Kubernetes environment? Uh, I think um, we also saw the buzz, like everyone has seen that AI wave, you know, um, how it has given rise to AI agents, uh, all the companies moving, like you said, towards AI. But I think we as V cluster are sitting in the infrastructure layer. So if you want to do AI, you want to build applications, you want to, you know, fine tune those LLM models, you want to build your own LLM models, you need GPUs. So you need that infrastructure layer. What we have seen while talking to uh, the enterprise customers is people are ordering the um, GPU hardware and they are building these mini data centers. Why they are doing it is various reasons like they want their data to be private, they want uh, data to be co-located so that it can inference faster, a lot of these things and they are building these mini data centers and obviously Kubernetes is the choice. And uh, what we cluster is doing to solve that problem is again multi-tenancy because we are in that ecosystem and spectrum. So what we say is to remove all the struggles uh, of handing 10 different Kubernetes clusters on bare metal, which is very expensive because at minimum you will have one control plane, two node given to one team. So if it's there are 10 teams, you need 30 uh, bare metal nodes, which are all gone to 10 teams. If there is 11th team, what do you do? So that those are the type of challenges which are there. Now, when V cluster comes in, what we say is have one cluster, just have one bare metal cluster, Kubernetes cluster with CPU and GPU nodes, whatever you have ordered. And then you create as many virtual clusters as you, as you want for the teams who want to do training, inferencing or any sort of um, machine learning workload that they are doing in the whole ML life cycle. So this is where V cluster is shining to do to help you actually build your AI workloads, build your AI applications be it agents or whatever that is. So on the infra layer, you have the GPUs. We are more focused on how you can efficiently reuse the like efficiently use the resources of those GPUs because that is critical. GPUs are expensive. So we want the infrastructure to be used in the best, best possible manner and everybody getting their own Kubernetes clusters as well and using the power of Kubernetes. So that's where V cluster is shining in the GPU space.